Hello everybody, how are you? It's Take a Tip Tuesday. What do your baseboards look like? Hi, it's Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish. And I know when you're selling a home, there's many things you have to think about as far as cleaning it. I know that there's some simple tricks with household items that you can use to clean your house without having to go out and buy something special. This is one of my favorite little tricks that I use uh, to clean my baseboards. Believe it or not, people do notice your baseboards. And if you want to know this little trick, you don't even have to get down on your hands and knees to clean them. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you right now. It's very simple. So my little trick I learned from when I was pregnant. I had the hardest time bending down to get to the floorboards. And um, if you have a pet, you know that hair like collects on these floorboards and it drives me crazy. And if you have long hair like I do, again, the hair collects on the floorboards. So I found this really cool trick. You take a um, tennis ball and then you uh, cut it in half. Um, and you cut it in half with a better knife than this. Why do I need a serrated knife? Holy crap. Yeah, that's it. Serrated knife it is. Okay, so you cut this little slit in it. And I'm gonna clean this. Okay, so you got this like slit. Boo! Hello everybody, how are you? You're gonna take this ball and you're gonna put it on the, um, like a Pac-Man, like that. Okay, so you put it on the edge. You see, woo! And you're thinking, how the heck is that gonna clean your baseboards? So here's my trick. So um, you get a towel and you wrap it around the edge with a rubber band. Hold on, let me find the rubber band. Found my rubber band. Okay, so um, you're gonna put this on, on this like this. And then um, you're gonna use the cleaning solution that I had um, posted in the blog. There's a link to my blog uh, with all the little cleaning solution tips that I have. Easy household items you can use for cleaning solutions in your home. So you're gonna spray that on here and then I'm gonna show you how great this works as a little cleaner for your baseboards. All right, so now you've sprayed the solution that I uh, mentioned in my blog onto your um, towel. And then you're gonna take this and you're gonna run it along the edges here. And if you think it's not dirty, you know, cause you're like, oh, there's no way it looks clean. I'm telling you, it's dirty. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, gross, gross. Told you it was dirty. It didn't look dirty, did it? But it is. So this is just a super simple way of cleaning your baseboards um, and get all the hair and dirt off. And you don't even have to um, get on your hands and knees to do it. Especially if you have back problems or, uh, you know, and you're pregnant or whatever, you know, you have, you know, bad back, this is it. I hope you found this tip useful. I know as a seller that if you're looking for quick ways to clean up your house and clean those baseboards, this is a fantastic trip because it like cuts the time in half. If you'd like to read some more of my tips, you can always visit my website at yourrealestatewhisperer.com. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish. And I tell you all this because you matter. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other tips. <laughs> I swear I've done this before.